Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So last week you guys saw me redo a French provincial desk that was gifted to me along with a trailer full of furniture. So today I'm actually going to be redoing the matching dresser to this desk. So let's go ahead and get started. all of these handles off and it looks like I'll show you guys a little bit closer these are I'm assuming glued on there because they're not coming out and there's no screws on the inside of them so I'm gonna have to try to see if I can pry them out or have to leave them on there ideally I would hate to leave them on here because I don't want to have to paint around them so I guess let's investigate a little further I was able to remove the handles as you guys saw it appeared they had some kind of metal stopper on the end of them i'm not sure what they're called but it isn't hard at all to remove them and it didn't cause any damage to the dresser this was my first time dealing with something like this so hopefully if you haven't either and you come across handles like these it can help you to remove these just don't drop them on the floor like i did After vacuuming, I gave it a really good cleaning with some TSP and water, making sure to rinse it off afterwards. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, this bottom part here is loose. I'm gonna have to reattach it so that it doesn't do this and it doesn't fall from the bottom here. So I'm gonna flip it upside down and see what we can do. Probably some staples should do the trick, so we'll see. So I'm going to be using yet another melange paint and this time the color is going to be Fathom Blue. Super excited to use this color because I don't think I've done any blue on my channel before so that's fun. Maybe a little exciting for you guys too because that way you get to see something a little bit more different. I am going to wet my brush to begin with just to moisten it. Make it a little bit more
I lightly sanded between each coat using 320 grit sandpaper. All right guys, so we are three coats into all of the drawers all of, uh, and the dresser. So we are completely done with painting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and top coat everything. And I'm just gonna be using the one that I always use, the Verathane Ultimate Polyurethane. And it's a water-based polyurethane. And I'm gonna do two generous coats of this. I'm using it in a satin finish. I know you guys have seen this done before plenty of times by other furniture artists where they will take some of their paint mix it in with their polyurethane to tint it so that way it doesn't alter the color of your piece i know that sometimes it can't and definitely can alter the color i usually don't mind too much as long as it's not too obvious and i'm just gonna use a teeny tiny bit you saw how much i put in there it wasn't very much but yeah i usually almost never do this the few times that I do, it's usually because I'm working with a really dark color like this blue and I don't want the color to be altered. I want it to stay as true to the color as possible. So I'm going to put my top, put my respirator on and we're going to start top coating. I thought it would be fun to add a decorative touch to the sides of the drawer, so I measured and applied some peel and stick contact paper. I didn't apply any additional adhesive in case the person who purchases it decides to change it later on and won't have a hard time removing it. So I ordered some hardware off of Amazon and they look just like this. And the reason I ordered some was because I was missing one knob. And so unfortunately I couldn't find one that was exactly the same as the other ones. So I had to go ahead and just order a brand new set that I could replace all of them. Um, and obviously I'm gonna keep the old ones and probably use those for a different project where it doesn't require as many. Um, but now I have a complete set and I can re uh, replace those. But what I'm going to do, because although I like the hardware and I like the color, I feel like once I clean up the handles, it's not really gonna match that well. Um, so in order to get those to match a little bit better, I'm going to take just a cheap little brush and I'm gonna take some Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint. I'm gonna spray my spray paint and I'm gonna take my paint on the brush and just lightly brush them. Okay. So there, you can definitely see the difference. The drawers that needed longer screws to put the hardware, I like to add a nut to make it fit. You guys saw that I ordered a new track for this one that was broken on, on this drawer. Clearly I'm not going to be able to use the guide that goes on the back of this because 
is way thicker than the original one. But this one fits in there perfectly fine. So I'm hoping it will work. I just need to cut it to size. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it because it's too big. I made sure to drill a pilot hole before securing it down with my screw. I decided to take Yostick Justin and use the Barkeeper's Friend Cleaner to clean and polish the hardware. I had already boiled them in the water vinegar solution with last week's hardware so I can't really tell if it was necessarily better, but I did like it though. Now that all of the hardware is back, let's remember what this dresser used to look like. And what it looks like now. today's video I think I made a good choice with the color that I went with for the dresser and also in separating the two pieces and selling them separately for those of you who are interested I did spend about $60 in materials and I will be listing it starting at $375 on Facebook marketplace as always all of the materials used in today's video will be in the description for you guys in accessible links don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload so you don't miss any future videos. You guys stay safe, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!